This week we are giving away a Molly visor with patches. Stick around in the episode to figure out how you can win this for your vehicle. Yeah, what, what you can't see off, off screen is, is a Mr. Buddy heater. Uh, we love the new studio, but it's only half insulated right now. <laughs> And it uh, it started snowing yesterday, um, so yeah, we're 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 definitely putting the fire in. in we could see our breath fire, yeah. here in the studio this morning. Can you see that? Oh, I can see mine too. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, welcome to the Blue Ridge Bonfire Weekly Update Show. I'm Dean. I'm CT. And we have. Some kind of cool stuff going on. Yeah, it's Sasquatch. <laughs> so the big question on everybody's mind is, what is the cutoff date if I'm going to order something and have it in time for Christmas? Yes. So that date is a Monday, December 14th. Yeah. Um, if you order... Six days away. Yeah, six days away, just, just, just under a week. If you order by then, we are marginally sure uh, we can get you the package in time for Christmas. After that... Um, we really start flirting with uh, the, the the surge in postal and and UPS packages, and uh, we we cannot guarantee the squirrels will will get the package there in time. We will make every effort. We promise to try. Um, yes, but, we uh, will be trying yeah. to get packages out to the very last, but the fourteenth is the one that we're pretty sure yeah. by. Yeah. Yeah. What else do we got? Speaking of packages, CT. Okay. So uh, here in the Christmas season, we're going to be doing uh, the Brog logo patches free with all orders over $150. We were doing Apocalypse patches before that. Uh, 2020 is wrapping up, so we're going to start doing uh, logo patches. Yeah. So those will go out with orders over 150. The Cyber Week second sale is over. Oh, all gone. Um, that was, was that was a lot of fun. Um, what do you guys think of the Cyber Week second sale? Should we do it again? Maybe should we do a spring second sale um, and then another Cyber Week sale in the fall? Um, however, there are still two big ticket items on the site right now, and that is the Brog Sprinter Van and Matt's Land Cruiser. Um, so we had a little bit of tongue in cheek with those postings. However, they are seriously for sale. Um, we, you know, it's a $45,000 stuffed squirrel, um, with a free sprinter van. Um, but yes, the van, the van is for sale. <laughs> Land Cruiser is for sale. If, if you yeah. guys are interested in either of those vehicles that we did make a quick walk around video of both right there on the product listing. If you want to go, yep. if you're interested, definitely go check out those, uh, walk around videos. All right. Uh, the the oh, what new, product just came in dean oh my god so i i came in today to a box of maps and you know how excited that makes me <laughs> um so we are now a dealer for latitude 40 um and if you remember latitude 40 uh we talked about their maps uh during uh the uh trip navigation series that we did because i have the uh, moab trails east and west um but these four that we're holding um, are all for Colorado. Um, so they are high quality, really nice waterproof tear resistant uh, paper. Um, they've got amazing details on both sides. Um, so they are great. And again, like up here you have trail information, difficulty, where the map is located in Colorado. So if you like off-road trails and you're thinking about going to Utah or Colorado, definitely check out the Latitude 40 maps. There's also hiking trails, mountain biking trails, horse trails, uh, a lot of historic sites. So even if you've got a non-overlander friend who's maybe into skiing or mountain biking or something, Christmas gift idea, blunt hint. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now that brings us to events and we do have something new to announce, yeah. don't we? So we have, um, so first, before I get to, to the, the, the event that's coming up, um, I have started going through and started peppering our calendar with 2021 dates that I'm aware of. Um, so last week we mentioned uh, the uh, Butler Jeep Show, the Bantam Jeep Heritage Festival. Um, I put that one on the calendar. I also put the three Overland Expo events because tentatively they are still scheduled. Um, I also put in, I think the Smoky Mountain Overland Rally uh, down in Crosby, Tennessee has their dates published, but we need your help. If you know of events um, confirmed or otherwise, please um, 
put a comment down below with the the event name date link something um and then i can do a little bit of homework um off screen and find that information get it put in the calendar event coming up new year's eve 2021 is on the horizon fury training concepts is going to do a new year's eve ride uh due to current covid 19 restrictions here in virginia we are capping that at 20 people 20 to 0 people mm -hmm. um so uh tickets will be going up for sale soon we'll have more details out soon um, hopefully by the end of the week so new year's eve is a thursday this year so the plan is everybody will show up thursday evening we will celebrate new year's eve and then friday we will do a day of trail riding and then saturday we will do a second day of trail riding last week we asked you what is the best way to tackle a holiday dinner plate and do you let stuff mix do you tackle it one thing at a time like what, what's your strategy so here are some of the best comments uh that people posted uh, z overland on instagram said keep all the food on your plate separate each the ugly vegetables first then moving on to the cranberries the stuffing the potatoes and saving the best for last finally the turkey mixing your food is only appropriate for after thanksgiving with thanksgiving sandwiches uh, turkey mashed potatoes, stuffing, and gravy on the rye bread, and then you cover that in gravy. And then, and then they say, say toss the toss the leftover vegetables. Don't even touch them after I after know, Thanksgiving. I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> um, Aiden Lash on Instagram said the best way to eat the meal is to eat each piece of turkey with a bite of mashed potatoes, stuffing, or cornbread, respectively. But then, when you are done with the turkey, finish off each leftover dish separately. Not a bad well, way to yeah, do it. Not a bad strategy. Frontier Pro 4X Adventures said, first off, you must be preconditioned to eating. Staged and strategically placed items on your plate so no food fatigue creeps into your game. The break between meal and pie for dessert is dependent on how you execute your holiday meal. I'm the wait six to seven minutes for pie guy. I'm experienced and I don't play around. I, I, my gap is a little bit longer, <laughs> but I usually front load my meal so much that I, I legit, I, I need, I need like a, a good hour before I can. Yes. Eat. I, and have, I do pie with ice cream. So the pie a la mode thing, I usually want, I want. I definitely believe settle. in pacing yourself. Yeah. Yes. Beast Lobster on Instagram said small portions of each question mark. That just means you need a bigger plate. I actually agree with that. <laughs> Always fill up the plate with more than I can eat of everything. Let all the deliciousness mix together in the middle. That's how you make gains. Flex emoji. <laughs> I can't disagree with that strategy at all. Um, although a, a corollary to the larger plate issue is what I like to call the sidecar thing. So like I will often do a bowl of mashed potatoes and a bowl for like my applesauce and cranberry. That way those things aren't taking up vital real estate on, my on the plate. plate. Yeah. Yes, no, totally yeah. agree. John S on YouTube said, I'm a mixer. Mashed potatoes with mac and cheese inside my Hawaiian dinner rolls with the turkey in there for a super yummy Thanksgiving sandwich mash. -up. Yeah, that, that sounds more like a leftover <laughs> for me. Like, I, I mean, know, yeah. Uh, Who does that on the first if round? If I'm gonna make a turkey slider, that's like round two that evening <laughs> or like the, the next Or next day, day for lunch, the next yes. Day, yeah. All right, Jonathan Blackmon on YouTube said, food can touch, but not mix. And you gotta make laps around the plate. Turkey, potatoes, green beans, stuffing, green beans, sweet potatoes, turkey, ham, sweet, like <laughs> potatoes repeat. Like it's just like a, I, I can't disagree with that. That's a, that's a pretty good strategy. I might have to try that, like make a wedge and then, and then just lazy Susan <laughs> like, it myself. Oh my God. Wouldn't lazy that, Susan. A personal oh, lazy yeah. Susan for Thanksgiving I think we dinner. I that idea. I like it. I All like right. it. We could sell special Thanksgiving yeah. plates with divots and with a spinner built into the bottom. Yeah. Deb Stansberry on Facebook said, trough it. A little bit of everything, and yes, it can touch. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> ben Wood, uh, I'm the type to fill the plate to max capacity and then indulge in either a clockwise or counterclockwise rotation around the plate, tasting the heavenly holiday yumminess. I'm not as OCD to have an OCD separation between items, but they're allowed to touch. 
to maximize the plate, which again, Lazy Susan idea. I know, I, we're, I we're know, we're here. gonna we're gonna make this happen. Yeah. And our winner from last week, chosen at random by a resident spelunker squirrel, is uh, Trenda Neff on YouTube, and they said separated but mostly all covered in gravy. There you have it. Just, just I like just it. Covered simple. in gravy, simple You'll and never effective. Know if they're touching or mingled, just. <laughs> Gravy everywhere. It's all going to taste good at that yeah, point. Exactly. All right. This week, we are going to be giving away one of our Molly visors with patches. We get the Sasquatch was here patch. We got an Apocalypse 2020 patch. This visor is Velcro on both sides, has a zippered pocket, fits most vehicles. So, CT, what what do we want to know this week for someone to, to win the visor right here? Okay, so our question for this week, uh, now that we are full on in the holiday season, is fruitcake. Okay, this is one of these weird holiday traditions that um, it seems like maybe only grandmas would buy. But is it actually good? Does it exist? Do you like fruitcake? I, I mean, you. I mean, I hear about fruitcake. I see fruitcake. I've never. I see it in Sam's Club. I've never, never been in a house where it was actually served. I, yeah, I've never seen someone eat fruitcake, <laughs> like cookies, brownies, candies, candy canes, muffins, pies. But I've never seen someone actually eat fruitcake. So is it like, is it a real thing or not? Like or is it all just smoke and mirrors? Yeah. Or is it just a, some grand conspiracy? <laughs> okay, I, it's the end of the episode, and I can still see my breath. Yeah, I think we need to upgrade we need from the bigger, Mr. Buddy Heater. Yeah, we need or we just need him going an hour ahead of time. Or, or we just need to finish insulating the, <laughs> <laughs> the whole place. Yeah, that sounds like work. I'm not going to do that. Uh, all right, guys. See you next week. Same Brog time. Same Brog channel. At um, the first rooftop tent rally, and it was like really, really cold. Uh -huh. And we had one of those little propane fire pits that Jason brought over yeah and we took turns shaking and warming up the propane cylinder because it would get so cold the uh, regulator was freezing and it, the heat would go down yeah so you had to shake it like people put it under their armpits and we would take turns